Hey teacher fam, today I'm gonna to show you how to customize the way your Google Slides look when they're embedded in Canvas by adding colorful banners. And I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, but here we're gonna give away a cheat sheet of all the Canvas codes you can use. There's um, custom Canvas icons that can be embedded, embedded in there. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to find the colors that you want. All right, so this is very easy to do. We're going to start with an embedded slideshow in um, in Canvas. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to go, and you've seen me do this a bunch of times before. I'm going to go to View All Pages. I'm going to do Add a Page. I'm just going to go into uh, my drive. I'm going to pick, I had some kind of cool PE soccer slides. Um, let me see what my presentations are. Let's find a cool one here. Yeah, this one's cool. I like this one. Kind of an outdoorsy theme for your Bitmoji. Uh, it's actually part of a sports pack that we're working on to give away. Um, so publish to the web. I'm going to embed. I'm going to grab that code. And then we're going to put this in. Click the HTML editor. And um, I'm just going to call it sports pack. Now, uh, when we click save, we see this. Uh, there's another video that I just put out that shows you how to add uh, a minimal player. So you can go watch that. I'll link that up here. Um, and I am going to just add that code uh, because I think it looks good right there. Uh, so now we see the um, camera slide embedded without the player. The slides show navigation is gone. Yeah, this is it. All right, this is the sheet, cheat sheet for canvas banners. And so it just looks like a bunch of code. I'm going to demonstrate at least three of them so that you could um, see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to hack them and how to make them exactly like you want. All right, so I'm going to, let's say you have a discussion and um, you have some prompt in your, your Bitmoji classroom. Maybe you have a video for them to watch, uh, but you want them to discuss it. Let's say you're embedding that Bitmoji classroom into a discussion board. Okay, so it's totally doable. Actually, now that I've said that, let's open discussions uh, in Canvas. I'm going to say add discussion right here, and I'm going to click HTML editor. We are, oops. Oh, actually, that is the banner we want. And uh, I'm just going to go back here and grab this. And then we are going to pop in the slide deck after that. I'll add the code to um, remove the uh, slideshow player. Now um, I'll say sports discussion. And then if I, I always check threaded replies. Um, okay, so now here we see the green banner here above the slide deck, okay? We see that the navigation is missing. As you pull the page wider, we lose those black bars. Those are just based on the size of the screen. But now let's say I wanted to customize this banner to match that slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this uh, slide deck and I'm going to go to Canva. I'm just going to Google Canva palette generator. Okay. Canva has a powerful tool called the palette generator. And so you can upload an image and it will suggest colors based off of that image. This is a fabulous, incredible tool. Look at that, it's already done it. Valentino, Chateau, Chateau Green, Whiskey, or Royal Blue. Now for me, I like this blue back here off of the, um, the scoreboard, but the Chateau Green is really close to what I had, but it's tweaked and it's custom just to my, uh, my slide deck. So I'm actually gonna pop in here and I'm gonna go into that banner and I'm gonna replace where it says background, I'm gonna put in that code I copied from the Canva palette generator. And so now you can see when I click save that my banner matches the green of the grass. Now, how tricked out is that? That's beautiful. Let's do um, one more. So, oh, this one's good. So here's the, the um, slide I want embedded. I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm gonna go to Canva palette generator. I'm gonna upload an image. And uh, I have to wait for my screenshot to save. There it is, I upload it. It's analyzed by Canva immediately. We have gray and light gray and blue. Beautiful, this they call polo blue. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go to a new discussion. 
in uh, in Canvas. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the HTML editor. I'm going to paste that there for a second, the, the correct color code. I'm going to go to my discussion code off of the cheat sheet that we are providing you free of charge. And then I'm going to drop in that code. I'm going to move the background color right here. This is the baby blue, powder blue um, color into the background of the banner. Now I'm going to put that um, above this slide deck. And, and now I'm going to save, fingers crossed. Every All right. And now here we have the slide deck with the, the kind of powdery blue banner matching the, the blues inside that slide deck. And so that's how you take a palette generator and you can Google palette generator. Um, I, I love these. They're great to customize your color schemes. Um, coolers is one. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Palette generator is another one. Colormon, colormine.io. These are all ones that I've used. And of course, of course, the fourth one is Canva, which I showed you. You just upload an image and it grabs the uh, images, uh, images, colors. It gives you the hex codes. So here is um, uh, coolers and you just say start the generator and it'll generate colors for you. And then you can just hit space bar and it will keep giving you color schemes. So that's great. Here's another one, um, palette generator, upload file, just like we saw. Um, Colormind.io is another one and you can just hit the generate button and it'll give you different color schemes. So let's say you want to come up with a th color theme for something special. Um, you can do that. And one of my favorite ones is Palaton. It didn't come up. Uh, Palaton.com. And this is really sophisticated because here you can do like art theory and you can click on adjacent colors and triads and tetrads and you can get all these different colors based on, you put in a base color right here and um, then you will get related colors so that it's sophisticated um, and you have more control over in this one. But here is um, just a look back at um, colorful banners that match the colors of your slides because you spent a lot of time just designing your Bitmoji classroom and now you can have custom colors that match just by using the Canva uh, palette generator. That's what I would do. Screenshot it, upload it, get those hex codes, throw it in your banner. Now uh, I'm just going to highlight one other banner. It's called the Thicker Banner. Uh, clever, clever name. Uh, this one is for the outsiders and so we're just going to dive in here. I'm going to do a page. I'm going to do view all pages. I'm going to do that. And we're going to have this. Now, let's say I wanted the outsiders book and I'm not doing this with the Bitmoji classroom. Um, but look at that. Great. What if I did screenshot that and I put it up in uh, Canva palette uh, palette generator and then I will have to wait for the screenshot to save there it is I put that in look at that how interesting I never would have picked this color right here or the blue or the tan I might have played it says wood smoke but it's black um, so I'm gonna say smalt blue never heard of it um, but what if I swap that in here and then I said something like let me just download this uh, this is great if you don't know how to um, upload images in canva it's kind of cool you click the upload button click the choose file button i have in downloads i have the outsiders jpeg the book cover um, i'll say outsiders as my alt text outsiders book cover and now i'm going to click the upload so there's actually three buttons you have to click um, but now when I click back here, you're going to see that um, show up, the outsiders. And when I publish it and save it, you'll notice the banner color is related to the color that's actually in the, um, in the book cover image. All right. Actually, that looks so close to the other colors. I'm going to demonstrate one more way to do this. And so this is Chrome extension color picker um, and so I'm going to install this I might already have it uh, in another 
uh, ident Chrome identity, but I don't have it in this one. So Chrome pill Chrome pick <laughs> eyedropper. So I am here on the outsiders. I click to get my color pick eyedropper and then I am hovering over, uh, let's say this magenta here. Now you see how that works? I use the Chrome extension so that I can hover over any part of the web page, and it'll show me the hex code that I need for that. So I kind of like this um, this magenta fuchsia. I'm just going to copy that right there, um, and that is on my clipboard. And I'm just going to go back up to um, edit, hit escape to get out of that uh, Chrome extension, and now I'm just going to put that as my background right here. And the beautiful thing about that is I've now picked a color that Canva didn't give me that's related. You see it in the book cover image. Um, actually, this book is kind of, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of too big. So I'm just gonna drag that and shrink that down. But now you saw how I used a color picker extension to pick a color, give me the hex code so I could put it in and have colored banners that match uh, the content on my Canva page. All right, very cool. Thanks for joining and I hope you got some out of this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave us a question. You can DM us on, uh, send us a direct message on Because We're Teachers on Instagram. We love to ask, uh, we love to ask questions too, but we'd love to answer questions. Our email uh, is because we're teachers at gmail.com and we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.